Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I'm going to show you how to hide the time machine icon on your desktop. It's pretty simple so let's get straight into it. So basically what I've got is time machine on my desktop here and it, it helps to make my desktop a little bit more messy. It's an extra icon on there which I don't use, I don't need to, I don't need to access time machine via the icon on my desktop. If I wish to access time machine then I will do it through the applications folder going to the actual time machine application. So having this here is a bit pointless, so what I wanted to do is like hide it or remove it. And going through um, Apple's preferences, you can all you can do is hide all your hard drives or USB sticks, etc. And that's the only way you can hide Time Machine, unless you download this Apple script which I find, or if you do some terminal hacks or whatever. So I'm going to quickly show you this um, Apple script which I found on the internet and downloaded. And, and I called it Hide Time Machine and basically I just run it as you can see it, it's it's hidden the Time Machine icon you can still use Time Machine, it'll still do your backups and it'll still run if you go to Time Machine on your application folder, it all works fine only thing is you've now hidden the Time Machine icon if I want to re uh, make it show again for whatever reason I can do by running this other script it takes a few seconds but it will actually appear again it's a really clever little script, really useful. So, I can't actually remember where I actually downloaded this script from, so what I will do is I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can download the actual um, two scripts and run them on your computer if you wish. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, hopefully you find it helpful. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can at twitter.com slash appscreencast. Also, if you want to see more Apple-related videos, don't forget to check my channel out channel out at youtube.com slash appscreencast. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you later.